Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So for this international innovation competition, uh, I would like to share on our research with title Low Cost 3D Printed Timunala Kata Papuk Shells Composites as Potential Electromagnetic Absorbing Materials. So I am Fazida Muhammad Idris. So I would like to share uh, to all the panels on briefly um, what is this research all about. So for the abstract, the advancement of electronic devices and communication technology have created more electromagnetic interference pollution that is harmful to human health and affects the performance of other equipments that share the same environment. So however, this effect can actually be reduced by effectively attenuating those unwanted electromagnetic signals and transform them into heat or other forms of energy. So, um, this electromagnetic interference actually can be reduced by having a material which um, can absorb the electromagnetic wave signals. So, therefore, lightweight and thin thickness materials is important in order to absorb the unwanted signals. Okay, so we try in this research, we try to produce lightweight and thin thickness. Since previous research, in order for the researcher previously to get higher electromagnetic absorbing materials, they are using more expensive material and they are using more thicker sample. Okay, so more expensive, more thicker and they are using heavy material. So it is not actually suitable for a certain application. So an activated carbon terminal katapa fruit shells with 3D printed honeycomb structure, composite is potential to be used as a low cost and new solution to improve the electromagnetic absorption. So the analytical properties of the materials will be carried out by using transmission electron microscopy, which is uh, we want to um, know what is the particle size which influence the electromagnetic absorbing materials, X-ray diffractometer, field emission electron microscope, for the surface morphology of the sample and Raman spectroscopy. So the electromagnetic properties of the absorbers will be studied using a vector network analyzer VNA. So this um, is the most important um, equipment which uh, we know um, what is the reflection loss that will enhance the electromagnetic absorbing materials. So we'll be doing it at higher gigahertz frequency range, which is um, at 2 to 18 gigahertz. And the enhanced absorption is the result of multiple reflections, which come from the effects of morphology and printed structure, since we are trying to do um, honeycomb structure. So this giving rise to an increase in energy dissipation in the structure. So if there is more energy dissipation in the sample, so it, that means that Electromagnetic absorbing material can absorb more electromagnetic signal. Electromagnetic signal. So this this low cost 3D printed terminal terminal yang kata perfect shells composites is expected to be as a potential electromagnetic absorbing materials used in many applications. So uh, actually we are using 3D printed for 3D printing to produce the honeycomb structure, which uh, can help to have multiple reflection in the sample that can absorb the electromagnetic wave signals, especially the unwanted signal. So roughly for the methodology, okay, first is the terminal katapa fruit being uh, collected and then it is being crushed, washed and dry. And then um, we are uh, going to the process of pre-carbonization at temperature of 200 degrees Celsius and then mill and sieve it so that we can have um, homogeneous particle size soak in potassium hydroxide solution and then microwave irradiation of terminal katapa this is to produce the activated carbon of the terminal katapa fruit shells and then wash repeatedly filtered and dried and next is the preparation of activated carbon terminal katapa with 3d printed with um, the honeycomb structure like this okay and finally is the materials characterization 
So these um, are roughly the methodology of uh, sample preparation. So for the results and discussion, the enhanced electromagnetic wave absorption is the result of multiple reflections and porous structure which come from the effects of morphology and honeycomb printed structure. So since um, we are using agricultural waste which is actually more porous in it and we are using honeycomb structure. So we try to introduce more porous okay, so that it can be more porous structure. So there will be more multiple reflection in the sample. Okay, so this it may give rise to an increase in energy dissipation in the structure. So when we try to do the vector network uh, using the equipment vector network analyzer, we hope that we can get um, a minimum reflection loss of less than negative 10 decibel with um, broad bandwidth. So actually broad bandwidth is um, so important so that actually when we use um, this uh, material in any any application it can absorb within low frequency range to higher frequency range that is why we are trying to use it or we are trying to do this experiment um, within the frequency range from low gigahertz which is 2 gigahertz until 18 gigahertz so we can try to see where is the minimum reflection loss peak varied uh, with the frequency and we try to get the uh, minimum reflection loss less than negative 10 dB with a broad bandwidth. Okay, so for the conclusion, a low cost and lightweight EMI absorber can be designed using 3D printed honeycomb terminal catapa fruit shells composites structure offering high electromagnetic wave absorption ability over a broad frequency range which is from low to higher gigahertz. Uh, by means of transferring the incident energy into heat or other forms of energy. So, uh, roughly, when there is a more multiple reflection in the sample and more porous structure, so we can have more uh, energy dissipation in the sample so that it will result in low reflection loss. Okay, so this is actually our novelty since um, these terminal katapa fruit shells have uh, not been used previously as an electromagnetic wave absorbing materials and this structure, honeycomb structure, have not been used previously um, and incorporated with terminal katapa that, that is not being done previously uh, to be used as potential electromagnetic absorbing materials so that is why we try to introduce this agricultural waste with the uh, honeycomb structure and then we try to produce it is uh, with low cost agricultural waste, lightweight and thin thickness and most important we try to do it flexible, the sample we try to make it as flexible since um, flexible material we try to do it because um, it can be used in any application uh, that we want. Okay. So for the acknowledgements, the authors acknowledge University of Science Islam Malaysia for financial support under research grant USIM RACER. So that's all from me and thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.